Hello and welcome to Harvey Walding Project that we're doing here in France and I'm quite pleased how it's coming along. We've had a bit of a struggle, just with an update, yeah, to actually try and keep on top of the grass because we've had so much rain. And we're getting there with it. It's still had a, bit, um, a bit kind of poorly cut. Well, I haven't got the right machine, you see, and there's something else we need to deal with. Well, it's just cut forward onto that at the moment, so we're talking about quite a bit of money near Topper. And there's this field here. We've got um, two hectares that we're planting with trees. And we're designating areas for, well, for the little birds and the bees and the little crickets and what have you, know. So it's this area here. Wow. So this is, this is one of the cords. It goes up to those, that tree line in the back there. And so that area there, we're going to actually allow just to do its thing. You know, we're not going to cut it. We're not, we've just got to leave it now. It might get a case we've got to go in there and have a bit of a clear out. Otherwise, it's just it's going to be an absolute mess. And we've got to think about the, um, the adjacent land over in the distance over there as well. So we've got to be careful that we don't upset the farmer. So, um, but you see, over here, we have actually got a row of coppers. They're not coppers yet. They've just been planted. They were planted last year. So we've got a row occurring in along here between these large um, willows over here. Coming around over there to there to there. So there's two extra rows we put in of willows. We planted the other one, those bigger ones a few years ago and basically we intended to start this project a long time ago and we just didn't have money to do it. I think Caroline came up, why don't we do a GoFundMe? So we did that. So basically we allowing people to uh, contribute, sponsor a tree, you know, <laughs> become <laughs> you know, little orphan trees, okay? So you can adopt one. <laughs> you know, we'll put that tree on your behalf and also make signs to go with the trees. Now, we are updating our signs as well that we've made so far on some of these trees. We find that some of them aren't wearing that well. So I'm actually renewing them with oak signs done, done with a laser. So uh, all we get more information on them. So if you already um, had a sign, and I'll put it with a tree, if you want to change what's actually on the sign, let us know and we'll do that for you. That's not a problem because we're going to be updating them anyway. And I'll go on to our list of things to do. But you see, um, with this particular area here, as you can see there, we, this is, has actually been cut this year once already. Actually, you know, twice it was, it was cut early in the season. But now we've decided with all that extra growth, we are going to leave it and allow the actual, just nature just to do its thing. And I absolutely love nature. It's, it's, it's so important. It's not, just, it's not just for us, is it, you know? For everything, you know, so it's just the environment and, you know, little critters and what have you, they, they need somewhere too. You see, the problem is here in France, a lot of the land, it's, it's about profit, it's about money. And that also applies to the woodland areas. Now, past our little bit of field here, into, down into that corner over there, that tree line there, on the other side there, there's woodland and there's a lake. And it, the lake is literally untouched, it's just pretty, pretty wild, you know. We often sit on, you know, up there in, uh, you know, on, on land over there, we can hear the foxes bark and they make well, fox noises. It's not really a bark, it's a weird bark. Anyway, they make noises, all right? And we get the frogs in the lake and what have you, the little grinnells, and they? And they're doing all sorts of weird and wonderful noises. And then we see the hawks and uh, the buzzards, and you name it, you know. It's lovely, it's absolutely lovely living here. So that is great for us as well, obviously. But the thing is, because it's managed land over there, same with all the farmland around here, it's about profit. They keep ch chopping the trees down. Now you can't see what they, what, they, what you can't see is you see, it's a bit like uh, <laughs> when the old pikey's coming on and trying to sell, and sell, sell you a car, but and they chop the middle out. <laughs> you know <laughs> that's what they're doing with all these woodlands and these forests. They're cutting whopping great holes out of oak trees and what have you. <laughs> And these are ha habitats are getting lost. It's really sad to see. You, know, you see these whopping great oaks, you know, hundred year old oaks, and they're just just felled, as though they're, as though they're nothing. And it's I find it quite a shame. I really do. So we're planting a variety of trees on this land here, and things that we're going to be here for a while. We're not moving anywhere, you know. Um, so we'll be custodians here probably until the day we die. So any other day, once those trees. Um, get to that stage. A bit big. <laughs> Hopefully, they'll get left alone. You know, 
especially if, we, if it's left to our family, so our kids and stuff like that. But they're, they're the same mindset as me. So um, we hope that we can manage this land for as long as we possibly can for the benefit of the land. Not, not, not necessarily people, you know. We, we are a side effect of... The benefit to us is a side effect, you know. It's about the critters, isn't it? You know, it's about the critters, it's about the land, it's about the air, it's about the, the grass, it's about the uh, it's little... Um, bio structures and stuff like that you know that's what's important it really is and unfortunately modern methods of farming even rural france is aggressive it really is aggressive and i hate to say it there's the sounds that i what i mean i'll just sitting there maybe a glass of wine what have you and there's certain sounds that make me cringe actually there's one in particular the sound of a chainsaw you hear it in the, in, in the woodlands and stuff. You hear the chainsaws, you hear the log splitters. You hear, oh, half of the woods just getting burnt, you see. It is criminal. Now, you consider in France, for instance, the, not France, in the EU, they just brought out the deforestation bill, um, which basically means <laughs> uh, products that come from land, you have to prove its, its origin, that it's, that it's part of the... Um, associations and what have you regarding looking after the, the wood as responsible sources and that there's nothing responsible what i've seen here in france well i'm in france it's not responsible no it really isn't now i understand coppicing and all that sort of stuff yeah fine you can talk about chestnut but a lot of these trees once they're once they're down they're down they're dead you know that's it but it does it, even if they are coppice you see it doesn't it doesn't save the animals does it you know they do it over the, quite often. It's done over the uh, uh, over the winter, and all the hedgehogs and all that stuff. All ha- yeah, the, the animals are hibernating, and then comes in this heavy machinery and it's, you just crush them while they're asleep. That's just sad. It's just sad. It feels wrong, and um, it just these day, this day and age, it's all about just how much money, how much profit I can get from it. And some of the farmers here have got a lot of money. I mean, they're wealthy. You might not think so, but many of them are very, very well. Not all, obviously, but our local farm, he's worth a flipping bomb, he is, you know. It works hard, fair enough, you know, but I just wish they were a little bit more sympathetic with the land. They say they're custodians of the land, but no. I would say they are the destroyers of this land, unfortunately. But, you know, it's, if we can compensate a little bit, boy basically get, you know donating our land here just to to, you know, to the trees and to the animals and stuff like that that's what we do you know and hopefully with your help if you want you know if you want to participate there is a, a link down below that's a go for me link so you basically basically adopt a tree or buy a tree buy this link basically we're not, we're not asking for any particular type of money whatever you can give it goes to the project. Whatever it is, we will plant a tree on your behalf, and I will make a sign. If it's a five, if it's a ten, if it's a twenty quid, you know, uh, or more, or whatever, you know, multiples off, you know, we will put it into the project because we've got a separate bank account for it. You see, it's just, I, I do admit, it does make me feel good. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it also humbles me as well, to be honest. Wildlife, animals, little critters, they humble me. They really, they really do, you know. I just got banged by, was it a cock chafer or something? I don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I just love it. So I do get something out of it, so, you know, it's not... Yeah. Anyway, do you want to be part of it? Follow the link down below, and I'm uploading more and more videos now, because we can actually get on again since the rain has stopped for now don't forget link down below have a tree okay two yeah, well, uh, over a thousand trees or two hectares of land we're doing if you want to be part of that like i say it's a good family thing and you, know, you have your own tree a memory of another one have your pet but also we're making bat boxes bird boxes and other animal little habitats like houses for animals because they need somewhere to live too you see doodling